just as I start to film. Hello explorers. <laughs> Hello explorers, how are you doing? I hope you are all well. Welcome back to Tokyo in Japan and I'm just on the edge of an area called Akihabara and that's where we're going to go explore. So these are capsule stations and basically you put 200 yen into the machine and you get a surprise depending on the theme of the capsule. I've decided to go with the Pokemon one which is a little bit more expensive, it's 300 yen which is about £2, about $2.50. So all you do, as far as I'm aware, you just put the money in here, like so, and then I guess you twist, maybe. Ah, this way. And then your little treat comes out. Let's see what it is. So this is the character in my capsule. Not too sure what character it is. If you know, let me know down in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> so right now I'm in an anime shop. You can see lots of figurines. We aren't supposed to use cameras in here, but I'm being a bit of a rebel. So I've just been given this leaflet by a very pretty Japanese girl in a maid's uniform. And apparently all over this area there are maid cafes, where basically they treat you as a master or mistress, depending on what sex you are. And yes, yeah, serve your food. Hmm, interesting. As you can see, another amusement arcade. An absolute ton of electrical stalls. I've just used a vending machine to get a drink and I've got a bottle of Coca-Cola Zero but I've never seen it in a bottle like this before. Okay, so I've just been a little bit naughty and purchased this. I saw them earlier and they smell absolutely delicious. So basically it's a pancake designed into a fish and this one has got custard in it but you can get them with bacon and egg in all sorts of different toppings Yum! So here goes Oh! So, so good! That is incredible! So I jumped on the train to Tokyo Station. I thought it's the main station in the city. There must be something around here that I can explore. So that's what we're doing now. I have no idea what's around this area. We'll just go and have a wander around and see what we discover. Amongst all of the tall skyscrapers is this beautiful river. Apparently I've stumbled across the National Gardens according to Google Maps.
So this is a nice little spot to come after the craziness of Akiabra. Akiabra? Yeah. That place with the anime and the electrical stalls. So as you can see, a little tranquil area, but we've got office blocks all the way around its skyscrapers. I love unplanned exploring days like today where you just head to a train station or a subway station and go and explore. Okay, I think it's now time for some food. I am hungry. I thought today, rather than going to a restaurant, I'd go to the supermarket, bring some food back, and sorry about the background noise there with this street. I've left the windows open because it's so warm. So yeah, I've been to the supermarket and I purchased this, which was 298 Japanese yen. And this is a kind of a potato salad with egg. And <laughs> really noisy out. And that cost in pounds around two pound, about one pound 80, about two US dollars. And it's really, really nice. And the other item I purchased, which cost me 229 Japanese yen, is some sushi. And they're quite big pieces, as you can see. There's four pieces of sushi there. And that is a little bit cheaper. I would say that's probably about £1.50, about $1.70, roughly. I have to say that I'm not going to eat all of this sushi today. I'm just going to have two pieces, and I'll have the other two pieces for my lunch tomorrow. So I've got a plate here. And yeah, come on down, get a grip with these chopsticks, man. One. And then another one. There we go. Yummy salad. So, egg, potato, carrots, cabbage, all sorts of stuff in there. So I'll bring that plate across and we'll put some of this salad on. As you can see. Egg in there, a bit of potato, and again, I'm not going to eat all this for my lunch. Just get another piece of egg. And there we go, that is my lunch. But there's one thing that I haven't shown you yet. This here is like the most delicious thing that I've eaten so far in Tokyo. I don't know if that's good or bad, but basically it is onions with vegetables, and they must have fried it. And I know I shouldn't have lots of fried stuff, but I've been going to the gym. And uh, yeah, it is absolutely incredible. And this is my lunch. This is my main meal of the day. It's the only meal of the day where I will have carbs because the rest of the day I try to keep just a protein. Tomorrow I'm going to be uploading a video on how to join a gym in Tokyo Especially if you're a traveler and you're only here for a short period of time Yesterday I joined one I went to my first session and it was a little bit different than I'm used to I've got to admit but I'm gonna tuck into my healthy grub now Yeah, can't wait. So here we go with the first piece of sushi not gonna nibble it just gonna stuff it in my mouth Mmm. The flavours. The tester. Tomato. The cucumber. I'm not too sure what it is. I think it might be mushroom with some crab. Mmm. If you have any questions about Tokyo or travel or anything, don't forget to ask them down in the comments section because I love your comments, I love responding to them. We're doing fantastic with the comments at the moment in the last couple of videos. So thank you so much for your questions and getting involved in the discussions. And yeah, I'm going to leave the video there today. If you're new to this channel, please click on that subscribe button. I'm here in Tokyo for a month. 
And yeah, click on that notification icon as well so that you get updates. That applies to everybody. And yeah, thank you for watching. I shall see you soon from Tokyo. Take care and don't forget to explore.